The inquest into the deaths of those aboard a super yacht which sank in Sicily in August has started. Tech tycoon Mike Lynch, his daughter Hannah, and couple Jonathan and Judy Bloomer were found dead following the accident. Well, Fred Dimbleby joins me now. Some other news now. And Joe Biden has visited southern US states to survey the destruction from Hurricane Helene. The president... Two ex-police officers have got their jobs back this lunchtime after being sacked over a stop and search. A disciplinary panel had found they lied about smelling cannabis when they pulled over athlete Bianca Williams and her partner. But now a tribunal has overturned that decision. Helen Keenan was there. Still ahead on the lunchtime news. But first, concern over the number of children in England starting school, still wearing nappies, using buggies and being unable to communicate properly. Well, scientists at the University of Oxford say they are developing the world's first ovarian cancer vaccine called Ovarian Vax, which they hope could one day entirely eliminate the disease. The ground... Now, new rules mean more women will be able to donate stem cells from next week. It's part of a drive to increase the chances of finding life-saving treatment for patients. Until now, white women have been excluded from the NHS stem cell donor registry, but now experts have found that young women's cells are no less effective than young men's. Graham Stothard explains. And finally, trapped underground for more than a week. Fire and rescue crews had given up hope of ever freeing Rose, a Jack Russell cross who had slipped into a crevice in rocks near Halifax in Yorkshire. But thanks to a team of dedicated volunteers, there is a happy end to this tale, as Callum Fairhurst reports. Oh, and just time to tell you about a special programme tonight. Don't miss... Uh, but that's it from us for now. Charlene is back at 6.30 from everyone on the lunchtime team. Bye-bye. Have a great afternoon.